Training is a very important part of our business. Without proper training, workers are going to get hurt. To accomplish this, 30 CFR Part 46 requires mines to have a written training plan approved by MSHA. A plan is considered to be approved if it contains, at a minimum, new miner training, newly hired experienced miner training, new task training, annual refresher training, and site-specific hazard awareness training. The plan should describe how the miners will be trained and can be in any format as long as it includes all the required information. You may voluntarily submit your training plan to MSHA for regional manager approval. You are not required to do this unless your plan does not include the minimum information required. The miners or their representatives must be notified when a plan is submitted for MSHA regional manager approval. The miners representative, if any, must be provided with a copy of the plan at least two weeks before the plan is implemented or submitted to the regional manager for approval. If no miners representative has been designated, the plan must be posted at the mine or provided to each miner at least two weeks before the plan is implemented or submitted for approval. A copy of the current training plan must be made available at the mine for examination by miners and their representatives. If a miner is assigned to a new task where he or she has no previous work experience, you must provide training on the health and safety aspects of the task to be assigned before the miner performs the new task. A task is a work assignment or component of a job that requires specific job knowledge or experience. Training must include the health and safety aspects and safe work procedures of the new task, including information about the physical and health hazards of chemicals in the miner's work area, the protective measures a miner can take against these hazards, and the contents of the mine's HASCOM program. A best practice is to provide training anytime you change equipment. Miners must also be trained if a change is made to their assigned task that affects the health and safety risks they may encounter. If a miner has experience or training in a similar task, you don't have to provide task training if you observe that the miner can perform the new task in a safe and healthful manner. Task training can count toward new miner training as appropriate. Each miner must receive no less than eight hours of annual refresher training no later than 12 months after the miner begins work at the mine and no later than 12 months after the previous annual refresher training was completed. The training can be given in an eight-hour chunk or spread out over a period of time. MSHA allows a miner until the end of the month in which they had their last annual refresher to complete their next annual refresher training class. You must record and certify on MSHA Form 5000-23 or on a form that contains the required information that each miner has received training required under Part 46. Part 50 requires operators to file two reports. The first is Form 7000-1, Mine Accident, Injury, and Illness Report, and the other is 7000-2, Quarterly Mine Employment and Coal Production Report. Form 7000-1, Mine Accident, Injury, and Illness Report must be completed after an accident that causes injury, illness, or death, an occupational injury, or an occupational illness. An occupational illness is an illness or disease of an employee, such as hearing loss or a respiratory illness. It is reportable if it may have resulted from work or exposure at a mine or is an illness for which an award of compensation was made. Occupational injury is any injury to an employee that occurs at a mine. To be reportable, the injury must require medical treatment, result in death or loss of consciousness, result in the inability of the injured person to perform all the job duties required by the job, require the injured person to be temporarily assigned to other duties, or require him to be transferred to another job or be terminated. In addition, certain incidents require immediate notification. When one of these incidents occurs, Part 50 requires the mine operator to contact MSHA immediately, but no later than 15 minutes from the time the operator knows or should know that an accident has occurred. The MSHA district office should be contacted first. If the district cannot be contacted, 
the 24-7 MSHA headquarters toll-free number should be used. That number is 1-800-746-1553.